Okay, Christian, how about another fact? Christian gets so much inspiration from the beauty around him. And we talk about the various shrubs and uh, flowers and see which ones are appropriate to impress into clay. Good job, that's a beautiful one. And um, then we bring them inside the studio and flatten the stems and impress them in. Start at the top. The way we're up, uh, no, I, I would do it. Okay. Christian has become very, very independent in doing these things and many, many steps to making the pottery. Even though each step is doable after many repetitions of practice, yet there are many steps. But he's gotten to the point where he's almost completely independent of us in the studio. Likes our company, wants his praise music on, but wants us out of his way more and more. Christian's full of surprises every day, and I just like seeing him light up uh, like he did today earlier when the Kim Fairy showed up. Oh! I get very happy when he gets so excited about the little things of life that mean so much to him. And, uh, and so I just want uh, those little things to show up each day. And uh, I'll be very happy for him. Oh, yeah. I thank God so much for allowing us to have this hobby for Christian that has turned into a business because it gives him a future um, and it gives him a reason to want to get up every day. If I had taken the test and known that he had Down syndrome and had an abortion, not just the whole world that we live in, but our hearts and our lives would be so um, um, impoverished from the joy that we've experienced by having Christian Royal. He is adorable, he's mischievous, he's funny, he's lovable, and um, very talented, we found out, with pottery. Can't read, can't count, but who cares? You know, that's not the be all and end all of life. If you find something that you love doing and you feel satisfaction and confidence, and have found a niche in society, you have a teacup that is full no matter what the size.